All right, everybody, I am finally back with a brand new DC update. I figured I had let you guys wait long enough for the next update, and this one is a doozy. This video is going to be the perfect example of how horrible of a company Warner Brothers Discovery is. And this goes all the way to all the way to the top with David Zaslov. Uh, I am now convinced he is the worst thing that has ever happened to Warner Brothers. And the stuff that this company is doing, not only to the fans of their franchises, but just the average person online is absolutely disgusting. So we do have some stuff to look at today. And again, the stuff I'm about to show you is not stuff I made up. Uh, this is real, and it is going on, and it has been confirmed by many different outlets over the last couple of days. So we have some ground to cover in this video. So let's get started. All right, so the first photo I have to show you here is Richard Mall. Now, he was part of the Bat family, and he was a big part of Batman the Animated Series. He played Harvey Dent, Two-Face, in Batman the Animated Series, but he is most well-known for playing Bull on Night Court. He actually just recently passed away. So we lost another member of the Bat family, and I figured it was, uh, it was uh, definitely worthy of, of remembering him in this video. So this is the first photo I have to uh, show you. All right, now we've also got Henry Cavill. He is moving on from Warner Brothers, and he is thriving. And in fact, they are moving forward with a Highlander reboot. So I figured I'd keep you updated on some of the DC EU stars that are now being cast in different roles. And so he is going to be Highlander in the new Highlander reboot that is coming soon. Now, this is something I found to be entertaining. Spider-Man is now the only true Arkham successor, and I would agree to that. I still like the Arkham series more. I just started the second Spider-Man game. I really enjoyed the first one. It was a very long, involved game, but I did finish it, and I just picked up Miles Morales. Uh, since the new one came out, I always, I'm always about one game behind, just so I don't have to pay the overinflated prices when they first come out. So I like to get them when they're on sale, and... I would agree that this is a true successor to the Arkham games. Uh, not quite as good, but they are still very entertaining and fun to play. Now, this is something that goes back a ways, and I just find this to be entertaining between actors. And this, can, this right here shows you the infighting at Warner Brothers. I keep talking about the Civil War between Warner Brothers, you know, the Civil War that's happening inside. And this is a great example of that. And this was posted back on March 22nd of this, this you know, this year. But it says, you know, Zachary Levi came out and was making comments about, you know, his movie Shazam 2 not doing well because Dwayne Johnson didn't agree to be in the film. And he came out and said, don't blame, Dwayne Johnson said this, don't blame me because your movie flopped. Just admit that it's bad. Mr. Zachary Levi, Black Adam versus Shazam, might not happen on screen, but it can happen off screen. Let's sort it out like men. Stop posting on social media like a kid. Choose a venue. I will be there. James Gunn can be your referee. <laughs> now, I don't know. This could be satire for all I know, but I found this to be entertaining nonetheless, and this is something I did not catch back in March when Shazam 2 actually was released. All right, and this is something that came across here just over the last couple of days that I found to be interesting, and I hope that this is true. But it says, according to DCEU leaks, Chris Mundy, showrunner of Ozark, which was a phenomenal show, and longtime writer and producer for Criminal Minds, will be the showrunner for Lanterns in the new DCU. According to, yep. So, uh, you know, if this is true, uh, this is one of the only, I think there's only a couple of projects that I'm really excited for. And this, this one is by far the only one that I'm interested in because we didn't get any type of Green Lanterns in the DCU because Warner Brothers had locked this, this uh, basically this property away, which was a shame. But with this guy in charge, I'm telling you, Ozark was a phenomenal show. If you haven't seen that on Netflix, I highly recommend it. But the show would be in good hands. This will be a true indication if James Gunn is serious about letting the filmmakers have their their style shown on screen but uh, we'll see if we ever get to this point because i do believe warner brothers is going to be so sold 
and the sooner the better. So this is also pretty cool, and I've talked about this in the past, but it says Constantine II is still in development and will be rated R. So this is coming from Francis Lawrence, and he also says that the movie will obviously acknowledge that time has passed since the original, which is cool. So it's really neat that they're bringing this character back, and it would be cool if they could tie this into the DCU somehow, but that's just wishful thinking. This will probably be an Elseworlds story. But it would, it would have been very much in line with the tone of the DCEU instead of the DCU. All right, so here's part one of two different things I'm going to talk about in regards to Warner Brothers today. And this, this is crazy. So P. Diddy, I think he just goes by Diddy now if I'm not mistaken, his version of Heath Ledger's Joker was so good last year, Warner Brothers sent him a cease and desist order. And he actually posted about this on Twitter. So we're going to go look at this, and we're going to see what he did in response. And then we're going to talk about the biggest story of the day. But this is the first thing that goes to show you how petty Warner Brothers is. So let's head over to Twitter. All right, so here we are on Twitter to look at the first uh, part of Diddy's story. He is known as Love, uh, at Diddy on Twitter, if you want to follow him. And you can go check these out yourself. The second one I can't play the audio on because it will... I will get dinged by Warner Brothers, which, again, is ridiculous. But let's take a look at what he said here. Breaking Halloween news, breaking Halloween news. Last year, after I did the Black Joker, I got a bunch of emails from the studio telling me to not be the Joker anymore, that I was breaching um, the trademark. And so... I don't know what I'm gonna be this year. But I will say to the motherfucker that took all this time, you talking about sending me this six full papers. I'm not even gonna show the business on the papers, but to tell me not to be the Joker. I wanna tell you, you win. I'm not gonna be the Joker this year. Just because your ass had enough time to fuck up my motherfucking Halloween. Now watch. Breaking Halloween news. Now, I do think this was a planned event, uh, but because what we have here, and I'm going to play this video, and, and I can't play the audio, but in this video, he basically goes through, and he's now showing up as Batman. He's, call, he's calling himself the Darkest Knight, and he's talking about oppression by the studios. He even, in, in, in the video, he threatens... Uh, he threatens a uh, an executive, so I can't play the audio because oh, because Warner Brothers will ding me for the audio. But here here is Diddy dressed as Batman. He and what makes me think this is a planned thing is he's got the suit, he's got a tumbler, and the building he's in, as well as going out on the street with the the video he gets. I. I really now think that this is something planned for his album called Love. And he mentioned something in here about this. And I don't know if Warner Brothers is is in on this or not. I'm guessing they're not. But, yeah, this again, this just goes to show you how petty Warner Brothers is with their properties. Here's where he threatens an executive to end the strike. And he says, yes, the strike is over. And he gets him to say, you know, end the strike, end the strike. And, and you get to the end here, and that's basically what's happening. He's sitting there talking to his son, and it says, The darkest night ends the strike. And he says, The strike is over. So this video talks about oppression and, you know, big corporations and that sort of a thing. So this is kind of interesting. But again, I can't play the audio. All right, now, before I get to the biggest story of this video, it, it was very interesting. Five Nights at Freddy's came out this past weekend day and date streaming on peacock as well as in theaters and it said five nights not only beat the flash in the box office but i think i may be wrong but beat james Gunn's the suicide squad which by the way five nights also had a day and date release uh, this is by mr stark 6240 on on my youtube channel and he's very right about this and it's very interesting this goes to show you that People have completely lost faith in Warner Brothers. This goes beyond one side or another. It's just people have lost faith in Warner Brothers handling the DC properties. 
It has nothing to do with the DCEU anymore. It has nothing to do with the DCU. This has to do with management and management only, and people have lost faith in this company. So here's the big news story of the day. This comes from Discussing Film and has been picked up all over the plat, all over the place, but it says HBO has been ordering staff to create fake accounts to fire back at those who criticize their shows online. Think about that. This company, who is owned by David Zaslov, has been ordering staff to create fake accounts online to go after those who criticize their shows online and movies. So it's not just TV shows, but it's movies as well. How freaking pathetic is that? So most of these people who come on to YouTube and give me a hard time about my views, people who get on Twitter and complain about those who don't like what HBO has put out on their shows and their movies, that a lot of those accounts are fake and have been set up by HBO to go after people who criticize their stuff. This is like a modern-day mafia in the form of Hollywood. Like, this is... To think about what this company is doing, it's disgusting. It is flat-out disgusting. I cannot wait till the day this company is sold because this is even worse than when Hamada was in charge. It it is. It's gotten worse. So I am hoping that this company gets sold and that we'll get somebody who actually cares in charge because these people don't care. All right, there's my update for the day. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you will be notified as I have new videos go up. We'll see you on the next video.